Compound butter is one of the many secret weapons that restaurants keep up their sleeve to add quick layers of flavour to their dishes. These little butter bombs are super easy to make, can be stored for a long time and the flavour variations are endless. All of today's recipes are based on using 100 grams of butter. For my UK people that's just under half a block and for the US I think that's roughly a stick. Let's kick things off with a chilli, garlic, lemon and parsley butter. Take the top off and remove the seeds from your fresh chilli. Give it a fine dice, then do the same with the garlic. The finer, the better. Sweat them both gently over a low heat in a little olive oil and a pinch of salt. You can also, of course, use butter. I like the flavour the olive oil brings to this particular compound butter. Whilst that's cooking, finely chop your parsley. Really go to town and chop that parsley well. We want nice little flecks throughout this butter. After around three minutes of gentle sweating, the garlic and chilli are done. Sweated, but with no browning on the garlic. Spread that onto a plate to cool down for two minutes. Get a mixing bowl, add your stick of softened unsalted butter, the chopped parsley, half of the zest of a lemon, a tiny squeeze of lemon juice, the chilli and garlic, and a generous pinch of flaky salt. Mix all of that really well and place it into the middle of a square of cling film. Roll it over itself and pinch the ends whilst twisting until you have a rough sausage shape. Butter this soft can be pretty hard to handle. In the end you'll have a nice little cylinder shape like this, and then place it into the fridge to chill and firm up. This butter goes great with chicken, fish, prawns, aka shrimps, or or just about anything really. It's super versatile. Next up, shallot, truffle and black pepper. This one's super special. Finely dice your shallot. The finer, the better. Then gently sweat them in a little butter over a low heat with a pinch of salt until translucent, but once again with no color. Keep your eye on them, they burn quickly. Now add some coarsely ground black pepper and a splash of cognac. Set it on fire if you like a bit of drama and once your liquid is virtually gone, pour it all out onto a plate to cool. Add the softened butter to a bowl with a heaped teaspoon of truffle paste, a strong pinch of flaky salt, and the shallot and black pepper mix once it's cooled down. Exactly the same as before, roll it up and chill it. This one goes amazing with steak, venison or mushrooms, just to name a few. Next up is a chipotle and lime butter. This one is one of my favourites and it's super easy. Get some chipotle in adobo. This is pretty widely available and one of those things you just should have in your fridge at all times. They taste deeply smoky and spicy with a hint of sweetness. Simply chop the chilies up as fine as you can go or you can put it in a blender, your choice. If you go for the chopping, use one of your least favourite chopping boards. Place it into the bowl with a softened butter, a strong pinch of flaky salt, the zest of two limes and a little squeeze of lime juice. Of course you know by now, mix it really well, roll it up and chill it. This goes great with fish, prawns, chicken, pork, tacos de camarones, ah, muchas gracias. Next is a really interesting one that packs a serious punch, chorizo and smoked paprika. This is the type of chorizo you have to cook rather than the cured type that you can eat straight from the sausage. It's a little softer than the cured type and you can find it in the chilled raw meat section of the supermarket. Unskin your chorizo, then place the meat into a frying pan over a low heat. Cook whilst breaking it up with a spoon until all the oil has come out and it's in little bits and starting to take on a little golden colour here and there. Heat off and add a heaped teaspoon of smoked paprika. I really like this brand, it has a really really great flavour. Stir in the paprika and then pour it all out into a bowl and leave it to cool. I'm adding the paprika off the heat because it burns super quickly and goes bitter. By cooking it in the residual heat from the chorizo this will help to bring out those flavours without risk of going too far and getting bitter. For this one, simply mix the softened butter, chorizo and a little flaky salt. Mix this butter quite hard so the chunks of chorizo break up as much as possible. Then once again, roll and chill. This butter goes amazing with just about anything. Fish or shellfish for a kind of surf and turf, chicken or just a nice slice of toasted bread. Lastly, this one's designed for one thing only, pancakes. This one is amazing, one of the tastiest compound butters I have ever put in my mouth. Smoked bacon, maple and pecan. Get three strips of smoked streaky bacon laid onto a tray and then load them into a preheated 160 celsius 320 fahrenheit oven until they are as crispy as you like them. Then set them to one side to cool down. On that same tray roast a handful of pecans for a few minutes to bring out their flavour then leave them to cool down as well. Once both of these things have cooled down chop them up, grind them, crush them, blend them, whatever you like. I like to go pretty fine with my bacon and a mixture of coarse and fine with the pecans for texture. Into a bowl goes the maple syrup, the bacon and the nuts. Mix them well together, then add the butter and a little pinch of flaky salt. This is pure indulgence and of course it goes incredibly melted over the top of a stack of pancakes. All of these butters can be frozen as they are and you just have to simply take a slice when you want some. Literally flavour on demand. And of course if you're looking for another flavour bomb, go check this video out next.